joined by all the shop town assistant manager Anwar Odin. Anwar, you've come back to your old stamping ground and uh, yourself and Danny have masterminded a very, very solid 2 0 away victory. What are your thoughts? Listen, I'm absolutely buzzing for the lads because before a game you prepare and you have a game plan and they got it to a team. They worked hard, we're organised. We played to our strengths, we were hard to beat. I thought they um, started the game pretty good, but we weathered that storm and I think we got stronger. And looking back now, listen, I'm delighted to get a clean sheet, delighted to get two goals. I thought we had more chances and I thought we grew into the game. And obviously towards the end of the game, when you've got a lead, you sit back and defend your lead. And I thought we did that well as well. So really, really pleased. I've had so many great experiences on this pitch and that's another one to add to that, to that memory. For uh, your striker Mo Betema, uh, nice to just get his goal tally running again with a penalty and uh, he, he really struck that home with confidence and uh, um, he, 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 he'll be delighted to get scoring again. Most definitely, listen, our strikers, they do so well off the ball in terms of what we ask of them, you know, making sure we're hard to beat, getting back into position out of shape. When they get chances, we need them to score. And if we get a goal or two, we are hard to beat because we're quite organised. And when you get a penalty, listen, you want it to, to be converted. And listen, I know the keeper's a very good keeper. So when you got a penalty against him, it's never a foregone conclusion. But Mo scored at a great time. Second goal, again, great time to score a goal, just after half time. So listen, we took our chances and ultimately we defended the lead and got, got a clean sheet. Dagenham got a little frustrated, I think, with you know some of the decisions with the referee and the yellow cards that they got. But your side applied itself with discipline throughout and, and, and had to weather a fair storm in the second half. But it's credit to how well they defended the second half. didn't really create any clear-cut chances. No, I don't think there was clear-cut chances. I think in the first half they had a few half chances. They changed shape, they changed formation. But to be honest, the boys dealt with it. They took ownership on the pitch because throughout the game, Dagenham changed. They, they changed formation, different players moved around and listen they've got good players that are going to cause you problems but we dealt with that um, I thought the boys were terrific when you ask the boys to do X, Y, Z and they do exactly that to the T you know that's all you can ask of the boys and I think you add hard work and discipline into that and I think you'll you'll be successful and, and that was it that was the story today you know we came here we knew what we needed to do be hard to beat we knew we'd get chances make sure we convert and it's just great to go home with three points. And, you know, we've played Dagenham twice this year and they're a good side of good players and we beat them twice. And for our young team, you know, we're showing signs of progress. I remember coming here last year and it was a very different story. And what is the message to the players? People can look at the league table and say, well, it's definitely a slight improvement on last year, but it's probably too big a gap to, to drift into the playoffs still. But you're clearly keeping those players focused on the job in hand. And uh, I guess you're going to put them to them to play for as well. Listen, we have got good players. We've got good players. But the thing about the boys here is they come here and it's an opportunity to learn. Some of the boys, if you watch us at the start of the season, if you look at the likes of Newball and a few others, they've progressed and, and, and used this platform to become better players. And it's great for us because we can't go and pick the best players to get. So we've got to get a group of young players that want to work and get the best out of them. And I think that's happening. Just trying to keep them is a problem. But, you know, we are a team that I think is progressing well. Yes, we're young. Yes, we won't achieve that level of consistency that the best teams have. But we're on our way. And uh, this is a great example of that. The more, more, more games like that would be great. Are you in Google Shop? More information below. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Shop.